promised land, complete with milk and honey and a view. Now, to get to this place took quite a little time. It took 40 years, to be exact. But a leader like Joshua could get his people there, even though a map and compass he lacked. the river and down the road was the promised land we know. But there was a little problem, a tiny obstacle. It was a city called Jericho. this fortress, you'd say, wow, I've never seen a fortress before, because this fortress was humongous. Really? Hello. Are you? Yes. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, get ready. Okay, all right. We've come off the script just a little. Well, I took some creative liberties with the script. Okay. You know? Are, are you liking this? Is this good? I like it, but this is not improv. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, okay, cool. So, uh, you want to get back to, uh, this? Okay, all right, well, uh, I guess they get what I mean then. The human odds were not on Israel's side, but they crossed the river Jordan nonetheless. For Joshua knew, and his people did too, if God was with them, they could win with less. So they reached dry land and they got organized, but when they saw what they saw, they felt clung. For they discovered when they reached the walls of Jericho, the city was locked up tighter than a drum. Uh, uh, Julie, Julie, uh, Julie, Julie, buddy, look, um, okay, uh, when I said tighter than a drum, uh, that was not a cue for you, that was, um, that was a figure of speech, uh, that was a metaphor, a simile, uh, that was an analogy. Ooh, analogy. Oh, okay, so I guess you all get what I mean, let's just get back to it. <laughs> anyway, a plan was devised as to how the attack would be made. For six days, they'd march around those city walls with thousands. It was quite a parade! Uh, where were we now? Oh, yes, the seventh day, the day that Jericho would come to an end. Joshua sent with his thousands to fight. It was almost too much to comprehend. Imagine, if you will, the seven priests in the front with their trumpets all ready to blow. Then the Ark of the Covenant and thousands of men all waiting for Josh to say go! But this day's parade had a different twist so that no one from the city would escape. Josh, hope I know they'd all be in shape. Seven times. That's right, seven times. seventh time, the fateful moment was finally at hand. Joshua called his thousands to halt and gave the cue to strike up the band. Wow, that needs some practice. That is bad. Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me, uh, 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 excuse me, 
everybody. I didn't mean now. <laughs> Joshua commanded his trumpets to blow and his people to shout. Now by this time, some strange things were happening as the ground around the city began to shake. The citizens of Jericho were also pretty shook as their walls began to crumble and break. Now the rubble reached ten on the Richter scale when those quakes and tremors hit town. Even Josh was amazed and the people were dazed when the walls came tumbling down. God who had power enough to give Jericho some urban renewal. 